Welcome to Visions of Hope. It's a very special program. You're going to have a great time tonight. I'm Tom Hollis. I am here with Amanda Brocker. You see her on Hope Today and Cornerstone Connect. And I'm here with Amy Schaefer, also on Hope Today, uh -huh. sister to sister, yes. wherever else we need you for sure. Uh, we also have a couple other people in the house. I want to make sure I introduce Pastor Gary Mitrick, the host of Move Your Mountain. You know Pastor Gary. And J. Anthony Gilbert. You see him on everything. Signs of the Times, Hard Questions, Hope Today. So glad that you could join us. Amy, it's a great night. So great. Our dear friend of Cornerstone, he is no stranger. He's a dear friend, Dr. Keenan Bridges. He is in the house for a powerful teaching called the Year of the Seed. Man, we all know and we all want to understand more the power of a seed. Plus, you don't want to miss the music of Uche Agu and his team from Revival Today Church. Uche is the international known gospel artist who recently moved to Pittsburgh. And we are so grateful to have him with us so that you can experience the presence and praise of God right from your home. And we're also going to have throughout this special broadcast life-changing stories and some of Cornerstone's most memorable moments. You know, the prayer that we prayed earlier was that you would hear Jesus. And that is our prayer for you throughout this program. Well, you know, speaking of memorable moments, let's start off with some fun here, okay? One of our favorite things to do on Hope Today is a game we like to play called Stump the Host, where we do our best to answer Bible trivia questions. Take a look at this video. Question is, this king was seven years old when he began to reign. Josiah. <laughs> I think, uh, you, are you gonna go? I'm uh, going with Josiah, I know Josiah. Uh, I know it's King Josiah. I know are this. Are you sure? I'm positive. We're gonna have to, she's so confident. It's Josiah. Josiah. <laughs> what? Oh, I was Jehoash, Jehoash of J. Joash. No, y'all need <laughs> to check that again. Was, how old was Josiah? Wasn't he I a young I think he was 16. Yeah. I was overconfident. He's still young. Why, why are the You're kid close. questions always the hardest? <laughs> okay, it was not King Josiah, but man, do we ever love YouTube. We love Stump the Host. We have that during the week on our Hope Today program. The video you just saw is one of our most watched clips on Cornerstone Television Network's <laughs> YouTube channel. Sydney has more now on just how your support is helping to touch lives around the world through YouTube. Did you know your favorite programs on Cornerstone Television Network like Hope Today, Sister to Sister, Hard Questions, Dashing Dish, At Home, and Move Your Mountain are not only on your TV screen, but also on YouTube? YouTube is the second most popular media platform in the world with more than 2.5 billion viewers. It's changed the way we watch content. And the way we're consuming media may be changing, but what remains the same and continues to stand true is God's word and the power of the gospel. Now take a look at this map behind me. These are the top cities that are watching Cornerstone Television Network and because of your partnership they are getting life-changing television every day. So in the U.S. you see it's New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, Seattle, Dallas, and then we go to Canada, Toronto, and Regina, and then over to Europe, Dublin, London, and then in Africa we have Buake, Nairobi, Pretoria, Cape Town, and Johannesburg, and in Asia, Kochi, Jakarta, Bengaluru, Manila, Yangusi, Sydney, and Melbourne. This is just a list of many of the cities we reach because of your faithful giving to Cornerstone Television Network. Thank you for helping us bring hope to people around the world and right here in Pittsburgh. That report is absolutely amazing. Can you believe that your dollars that you give to this network from 43 years ago, that vision starting with Russ and Norma, and now we're literally around the world. You guys, we're north, south, east, west, on the other side of the globe. Oh, it's amazing. I, mean, I just love that. I love that, you know, the, the power of media is incredible that we have this. Look, I've been to a few of those places, not, not all of them. I've been to Cape Town, I've been to Accra, I've been to a few places, but I haven't been able to see everybody there that the power of media has to get into people's homes. You know, guys, you know, I've done a lot of uh, street evangelism and different things, but I didn't get into people's homes that much when mm -hmm. I was doing that. But with Cornerstone Television, we were able to get right into people's homes, right where they're sitting, you know, uh, relaxed and with their kind of their, their, their defenses down, just ready to take in 
the gospel. I love that, Amy. Well, Jesus said, go into all of the world and to preach the gospel. And I love this because what we're saying is through your partnership is that not that you have to come to us, but man, we're going to go into every man's world all over the world. People are just YouTubing everything. So whether the content is funny, whether it is serious, meaningful, scriptures, word, inspiration, or encouragement, that is what we're here for. And it is all because of your support. It's incredible. That's right, Amy. And no matter if we watch Christian programming online or on TV, the eternal impact remains the same. Take a look at this story of a young woman named Anissa, who says Cornerstone has helped her to grow in her faith. So I grew up in the city in Pittsburgh. I grew up on the Hill Dis like in the Hill District. So I had my mom, my dad, and my sister in the house. So the four of us. Um, I think I was about seven when my parents divorced. And my dad raised us as a Muslim up until that time. Um, my mother, after the divorce, she kind of went back to Christianity. I guess fast forward, my dad passed in 2016. <clears throat> so that was tough. It was like a really hard place. Not too long after he passed, I like started drinking. I was having anxiety, like panic attacks. So I kind of went looking for my dad. Like I wanted to know where he went. So I started exploring different religions or theologies, ideologies, anything that would kind of explain like where he went. But I remember one May, it was Mother's Day. And like I said, my mom had went back to Christianity. So she kind of asked if I couldn't go to church with her for a Mother's Day service. So I went and it was awesome. This was like the first time I had ever stepped into a church though. And I attended like two services at her church and they give the call at the end, like the altar call. And I walked up and I gave my life to Christ. Since then it has been a process, but I've seen God move in my life like I hadn't in the 30 years, 33 years prior. Like everything was different. Everything was new. So I didn't, I actually didn't have a whole lot to watch once I, once I became a Christian. Um, Cause there were certain things that just no longer appealed to me as God worked in my heart. Um, so I was just scrolling and I came across Cornerson. It was like, I can watch this. Like I know I'm in my thirties, but we still kind of need an example, a roadmap, kind of see somebody doing it to really see ourselves there or believe that it's okay. So I probably only have Cornerstone on the TV um, because it has so many programs that I watch. To have encouragement in like our walk is paramount. It kind of keeps me wanting to do good tomorrow and today, you know. There are still those that will be saved and it's a great call to people who are look who are lost like i was looking for their father or looking for identity belonging because without their support i wouldn't have been able to kind of believe which is huge for everything for us to kind of move forward i wouldn't have believed that i could be a christian that I could um, do a lot of the things that I am doing with God right now, like I wouldn't have saw it as possible. So for them to donate and keep this going because people are getting saved every day. I'm one, you know, later in life coming to Christ. How can people, especially people that don't go to church, how can they hear the word of God without programming like this? They might not go to church, they might not read the Bible. like. Some people just would never have that contact. I think that Anissa's testimony summarizes the vision and the passion of what Cornerstone Television is all about. Pastor Jay, God raised this ministry up to proclaim the good news 
to the, to the lost and also to provide a message of hope to those that are hurting. Yeah, that's right, Pastor Gary. You know, I love what Norma Bixler said. She said, to raise high his signal. You know, if there's ever been a time that we need hope, it's right now. Gross darkness is truly covering the face of the earth. But thank God, think about how all the places of the world, Pastor Gary, we could be at. God chose Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to raise high a signal of the gospel of Jesus Christ to give hope. It doesn't matter whether or not you're in a nursing home. It doesn't matter if you're in a hospital room. It doesn't matter if you're in a jail cell. No matter where you are, the gospel of Jesus Christ is going out from Cornerstone Television Network 24 hours a day, seven days a week That's to right. bring life and hope to all that need it. That's right. And you know, when the Lord spoke to Norma Bixler, our founder, and told her to the that her and her husband Russell were going to build a Christian television station here in Pittsburgh. Here's what he said. He said that he had people, partners that would support the work that God was giving to them. Let me ask you this. Here we are 43 years later and God has been providing partners for the last 43 years. Are you one of those partners that the Lord is calling to support this voice of hope to a lost, a dying, and a broken world. And that's why we truly do need you. It's so important that we come together and partner with Cornerstone Television Network. You know, in a moment here, we've got a phenomenal man of God. You've already heard his name. He's no stranger to any of us. Dr. Keenan Bridges, all the way from Tampa, Florida, bringing some of that sunshine to us. <laughs> we need it right now. But he's got a message called the year of the seed. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. What you're sowing today in your life in every area is going to cultivate a harvest tomorrow. He always brings a word in season, a due time word. This is a Kairos moment for you, and God's got a word for you that's going to shift your life to another dimension. But before we go to his message, we've got to prepare the atmosphere. We've got an anointed team that is here to bless you. Brother Uche Agu and the Revival Today Mass Choir is here. Get your expectors up, get your spirit open, and let's enter into the presence of the Lord. Now, if you're ready to praise the Lord with us right here, at wherever you are tonight, lift your hands up towards heaven and shout the glory is coming down. If you're ready, let's go. Come on. The glory is coming. It's coming down. Right here from Cornerstone TV into your home. The glory is coming. Are you ready? The glory. The glory. The glory of the Lord is coming down. Hey. The glory. The glory.
lift your voice and say, oh, 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 oh. come on with your hands, lift your love in expectation tonight. The King of Glory oh, is coming right where you are. Greetings, everyone. God bless you. I'm so excited. God is so faithful. What a wonderful, wonderful time to be in the earth in one of the greatest seasons that we've seen in the history of mankind. And I believe tonight we are in for a very special move of God in your homes, in your family, in your finances, in every part of your life. I want to talk to you about the year of the seed and in effect, the power of the seed. You know, we are living in a season, 2023, the Lord spoke to me. He said, this will be the year of the seed. Meaning that if we're going to succeed in 2023, we need to understand the seed. Somebody say that out of your mouth. Said, if I'm going to succeed, I'm going to succeed. I need to understand the seed. I need to understand, understand the seed. One more time, if I'm going to succeed, I'm going to succeed. I must understand the seed. I must understand the seed. There is a irrevocable spiritual law in the word of God and we see it all throughout scripture. My key text for today is going to be found in Joel chapter 2 verse 23. I'm going to give you an opportunity in a minute to partner with God to see one of the greatest moves of God we have seen in our lifetime beginning right now, beginning from Cornerstone Network who for so many years has reached the nations, reached people all over the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Job chapter, um, Joel chapter 2, verse 23, I want you to see this, and I'm going to go backwards in Scripture so you understand this spiritual concept. He says this in Joel chapter 2, verse 23, Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And then it says this, you ought to shout right here, I will restore to you the years yes. that the locusts have stolen, Amen. have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent amongst you. Watch this, verse 26, and you shall eat in plenty and be yes. satisfied. Amen. I don't know about Amen. you, but I don't want to live on uh, the, the, the scraps, glory be to God. I don't want to mm -hmm. wait till I get to the sweet by and by while I live high and dry, but right. I want to be able to live in the perfect will of God. And the reason why we must live in the perfect will of God and the reason why we, we must live in plenty is not just for you. It's not just for you. It's for the harvest. You see, let me encourage you with this. There are no seedless fruits in the kingdom of God. Let me say that again. There are no seedless fruits 
in the kingdom of God. You can go to the grocery store, you can get seedless grapes. Come on, somebody. <laughs> that's right. And that's why your children are, are 10 feet tall. Glory be to God. <laughs> because it's genetically modified. There are no seedless <laughs> fruits in the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God, there cannot be a harvest without a seed. Mm. In fact, I want to take you here, and we'll go back to Joel chapter 2, but you got to see this. It really blew my mind. In Genesis chapter 1, it says this. It said, And God made the firmament and divided the waters, verse 7, which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Now go down to verse 11, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass. Watch this. The herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Watch this. Whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. In the first chapter of Genesis, God establishes a spiritual principle that you can never avoid, and that is the seed the seed. God began creation with a seed. In fact, if we look at scripture carefully in the first two verses of Genesis, you will find that the Bible says that God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the earth. Then it says this, and the spirit of God hovered, some translations say, brooded over the face of the waters. And then God said, what does that mean? It means that the spirit of God impregnated the atmosphere so that whatever God said would bring forth a harvest. Even God himself implemented this spiritual law. And then it says that when he created the earth, he caused every tree yielding fruit whose seed is in itself. Somebody say there's a seed. There's a seed. There's a seed. You know, if you want to know what the seed is, the seed is the harvest concealed. Somebody catch that. Yep. The seed is the harvest concealed. And if you think about this, this concept, how many times have you ordered a package, but you didn't write down the address it should be delivered to? <laughs> how many of you will never receive that package? You can buy it, you can pay for it in full, but if you don't give it an address, that package will never be delivered to you. The same is true of God. Everything he has created and all the blessings and all the favor he has already done, but they're hidden in the seed. And the seed is the instructions for a future harvest. Your seed tells your harvest where to go. It tells your harvest wow. what to become. If, yeah. I want, if I want an apple tree, I don't get it by speaking in tongues. Y'all not hearing me today. I'm about to shout. I'm going to tell myself good preaching. Good preaching, preacher. Thank you, sir. You don't get an apple tree by speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. No, you get an apple tree by sowing an apple seed. Friends, let me tell you something. We are living in a time where more than ever we must understand this spiritual principle. Do you know that 6% of Christians in America tithe? 6% of Christians in America in a country that professes to have 250 million Christians. 6% of Christians tithe. And then we, we cry and we say, where is the transformation? Where wow. is the revival? Yep. I'm talking to somebody today. Yep. We That's say, right. where is the revival? Where right. is the awakening in America? You know where it is? It's trapped in your seed. Mm -hmm. It's trapped in your seed. The seed is the harvest concealed. Mm -hmm. And the harvest is the seed revealed. Nothing can come up in the earth until a seed is sown. Even God. Now, if you go back, if you go to Genesis 2, I'm not going to go there for time, but I want you to read it at your leisure. You'll see that it says that God did all these things. He created all these things. And then it says, and nothing had come up yet, which means that everything that God did in Genesis 1 was in seed form. He says, nothing had come up yet. He says, then God caused a mist to come. And then the earth began to yield its fruit. You see that? Why couldn't God, am I talking to somebody today? Why couldn't God just speak it and poof, it pop up? He did speak it and it was there, but it was in seed form. And that's why the scripture says that in, in Genesis 8, as long as the earth remains, there shall be seed time and harvest. 
Let me ask you today, what harvest are you believing God for? What area in your life needs to change? What, what circumstance needs to turn around? Are we believing for a harvest of souls? Even God, hear this by the Holy Ghost, even God, when he wanted to reap a harvest of sons, he had to sow the son. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave. Here's my question for you, believer, you tongue-talking, Bible-quoting, spirit-filled, walking on water, believer, I'm talking to you. Let me ask you something. If it's good enough for God, is it not good enough for you? If God follows this principle, how can we not follow this principle and expect to get results? I'm telling you. Why am I sharing this? And I want to I want to pray with you in just a moment. I'm sharing this because I believe that what the Bible says in Joel chapter 2, verse 23, mm-hmm. that God is sending the latter rain. Yes. Amen. And that latter rain is yes. not just water dropping from the clouds, mm-hmm. but there is a rain of the glory of God coming mm-hmm. upon the earth. Mm-hmm. There is a rain of the glory. God is about to manifest himself in ways we have never seen before. Let me tell you something. It's a time where God is calling the church to walk in the supernatural. We got to walk in the presence and the power and the glory of God. But I'll say to you again, rain only matters to those who have seed in the ground. Rain only matters when there's seed in the ground. If there's no seed in the ground, there can be no expectation of a harvest. Okay, okay, y'all, y'all looking at me strange. Right. I can see Go you watching me through the TV screen. I see you on that couch <laughs> with that popcorn looking at me in my eyes. I'm looking right back at you, and I'm telling you this. Even the book of Acts teaches us. Can y'all catch this for a quick second? The book of Acts, Acts teaches us this. Do you know Jesus, when he was resurrected from the dead, he told his disciples, listen to this, he told his disciples to tarry and they tarried in the upper room. Jesus revealed himself to over 400 disciples. Over 400 disciples saw the revelation of the resurrected Christ, but only 120 were in the upper room. How many understand that that 120 was a seed? Okay, now you're gonna get, it's gonna get real deep now. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter two, on, when the day of Pentecost, what is Pentecost? Shavuot. It is 50 days from Passover. It is one of the main feasts that commemorates the harvest. Hear this. On the day of Pentecost, the Bible says they were with in one place and in one accord. And that's why I drive a Honda till today, because it's biblical to do so. The scripture says they were in one accord. Okay, that's, that's a bad, bad joke. I'm sorry. I'm no. so sorry. Forgive me. We know you're For, a dad. Forgive me. I'm so sorry. That's a dad, dad joke. joke. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Anyway, as I was saying, the Bible says they were in the upper room on the day of Pentecost. And look, look what it says. It says, and suddenly there came a sound as of a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the place where they were sitting. Watch this. I want you to think about this. This is the law of seed time and harvest. There is no coincidence that this miracle happened on the day of Pentecost, the time when the harvest was to come in. The Bible says that that seed of the 120 was in the upper room. But when the rain came, oh, come on, somebody. When the rain came, how did the rain come? The Holy Spirit. He rained upon the 120. He rained upon the seed. And by the end of that chapter, there were 3,000 people that were added to the church in one day. I'm here to tell you today, When the rain comes, if you have seed in the ground, you have a harvest with your name on it. Mm -hmm. When the rain comes, if there's seed in the ground, and I'm talking to some believers, maybe you haven't walked in this in the fullness, but God is calling you to be obedient in this area. And I'm not just talking about your money, I'm talking about your time, your talent, your treasures, Mm -hmm. more importantly, your life. You being a living sacrifice. And I'm telling you today that God is calling us to experience miracle signs and wonders, but it begins with the seed. It begins with the seed. Your seed has the instructions for your next harvest. Revival in your city, 
a move of God yeah. in America, mm -hmm. the restoration of your family is one seed away from a harvest. Mm -hmm. Rain only matters when there's seed in the ground. The Lord spoke to me. He mm -hmm. said that 2023 would be the year of the spiritual man and woman. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. What is God telling you to do? And there are three things you must do in this time. Be a person of radical faith, a person of radical obedience, and a person of radical giving. And that looks different for everybody. Radical obedience for one person may not be the same as for another. There's somebody watching today, and the Lord is speaking to you, and I want to encourage you I want to encourage you to respond to God, to put him to the test in this area. We have seen so many miracles. There was a woman just the other day that came to our church meeting. She had no money in her account. And someone, we were actually, uh, we were raising money. We were blessing one of our church members with a, with a car. And so we gave many people in the audience an opportunity to sow into this person. And this lady had no money, but she said, God, I know, I know that you said that the seed is the harvest concealed. And so what did she do? She went up to the, to the altar to give, but she says, Lord, I don't have any money, but I'm going to believe you that you're going to provide what I need to sow. When she gets to the altar, somebody gives her $100. She takes the whole $100 and sows it into the offering. By the time she gets back to her seat, somebody writes her a check for $1,000. Wow. By the time she gets to her car, somebody wrote her another check for $2,000. Mm. Zero became 3000 to the seed sower. Wow. Amen. Oh, come on, y'all. Y'all yeah. can do better than that. <laughs> when you're a seed sower, you can live in a constant state of expectation. Yes. I'm yeah. looking for blessings everywhere I go. I look at for, for the mail. Come yes. on, somebody. I look, sometimes I look under the trash can. I just look at all kinds of places because I know there's a blessing. There's a harvest with right. my name on it. Right. I'm telling you this principle. God told us to begin to sow, and I begin to sow, mm. and I begin to sow. And the Lord spoke to me, and he spoke to me, and he said to sow radically. So we begin to sow, and there was a ministry that needed support. And the Lord spoke to us and said, sow $20,000 into this ministry. And we did, and the ministry was to restore pastors and marriages in the Dominican Republic. We, we sponsored pastors who couldn't afford to even come to the city to, to come and be ministered to, to be evangelized and to restore their marriages. And 20,000 churches were, were impacted by this. But what am I saying to you? I'm saying as we sold in faith, I get a phone call. I get a phone call and uh, my assistant says, Pastor, you, are you sitting down? I said, I, I can if I need to. <laughs> she said, somebody just called and they want to sow a million dollars into the ministry. Praise the Lord. So y'all didn't shout like you need yeah, to, but right. you better put that popcorn down. <laughs> you better say amen. And that's not just for me. Amen. God's right. no respecter of persons. Amen. Why do miracles like that happen? Because we're good people? Because I love the Lord. Because you go to church? No. No. He gives seed to the sower. And multiply your seed sown. And increase the fruit of your righteousness. Did you know that the harvest is magnetically attracted to the seed? Yes. The harvest is magnetically attracted to the seed. A seed is the prophetic, mm -hmm. listen to this, the prophetic impetus mm -hmm. for the harvest. Your seed provokes the harvest. Wow. It provokes the harvest. And if we're going to see Amos <coughs> chapter 9, verse 13, which yes. says, watch this. It yeah. says, behold, the days come, says the Lord. Mm -hmm. Behold, the days come. I love it in the message translation. It says, it won't be long now. It won't be long now. Yeah. <laughs> This thing will happen so fast your head will swim. I'm prophesying right now. Yeah, I feel the Holy Ghost. On. One thing on the heels of another. Blessing on blessing, blessing. on blessing. Yes. That wine will drip from the mountains. Who is that for? For, mm. for? He says this. He says, the plowman mm -hmm. shall overtake the reaper. Good God Almighty. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. The plowman is a person that's preparing the soil for seed to be sown. 
I do not qualify for that promise if I've never plowed. If I've never been a plowman, I can't be overtaken by a reaper. And so here's what I'm saying to you. If you will come into agreement with God today, God is going to usher you into another dimension, the dimension called plenty, according to Joel chapter 2, verse 23. He says that latter rain. And then I love that last part. He says, my people will eat in plenty and be satisfied. Mm. I don't care what the Dow Jones says. Mm. I don't care what the administration says. I don't care what the stock market says. I don't care what your boss says on your job. When you step into this dimension called plenty, God will provide your needs, not according to the economy, not according to the national debt, but according to his riches in the glory. And the last time I checked, God has not run out of glory yet. There is no glory recession in heaven. And if there's no glory recession in heaven, there is no recession in my life. This is not just some name and claim it thing. You got to hear this. We are coming into some very serious times. Yeah. Very. This is no joke. Right. This this is real. Right. We are coming into some real times. Yes. And just like it is in the natural, when people know they're going into a difficult time, they start preparing. Some of you have bought about a thousand cans of pork and beans. Come on, somebody. (laughs) And you've bought some rice that'll last for 5,000 years and all this kind of stuff. And radioactive proof, come on, jelly. You've done all of that to prepare for what's coming. But here's my question. Have you done the greatest preparation? That's right. Yes. Have you made the greatest preparation, which is to invest in the kingdom of God? Because if you will invest in the kingdom of God, there's a return. Mm -hmm. See, I I want you to hear my heart on this. This is one of the most misunderstood principles in the body of Christ. Six percent of Christians tithe in America. How can we complain about false religions building their temples of worship? How can we complain about comprehensive sexuality in the school systems? How can we complain about what's going on, this satanic agenda being propagated in almost right. every, every uh, sphere of influence yes. in the world if we have no vested interest in the kingdom of God? Mm. That's right. If we have no stock in the kingdom, That's right. if we have no seed in the ground, Amen. How can we get mad Mm -hmm. when we're not seeing a harvest in the earth? Mm -hmm. If we have nothing, come on somebody. I want you to say this, say I'm vested in the kingdom. I'm vested vested in in the kingdom. kingdom. When I was in the business world, there's something when we start a business, it's called capital stock. And capital stock means that you have to put money into a business in order to become a partner. Mm -hmm. You cannot be a partner without making an investment. There has to be capital stock. The Bible says we are co-laborers together with God. We are partners with God. Here's my question to you. If you're God's partner, how much have you invested? How much stock do you have in his mission? Here at Cornerstone, there's been a mission to bring the life-changing gospel to people all over the place. Families restored, suicidal people delivered. Why? Because of the power of the gospel. And that gospel is able to get out to the nations of the earth because faithful men and women like yourself invest in Cornerstone Network, invest in ministry. And through your investment, it's able to go out to the ends of the earth. And I am challenging you today. If you have never been a radical giver, there's a first time for everything. And I believe God's calling us to become radical givers. Radical givers are radical livers. <laughs> Not your liver like here, but you live radical. I mean, I'm just trying to say. Come on, somebody. How many want to live radically? Yes. We want to live in the radical grace yes. of God, the radical provision of God. Yes. I heard a story one time. A brother was in Nigeria. And this brother was a tither. He was a, a faithful brother. And I heard this many years ago. And they said that, that uh, there was this, this issue with the gasoline. There was no petrol. All the petrol stations went down. People couldn't buy gas. People had to walk. And, people, and this brother said, Lord, you know what? I, I know this is crazy. I don't have no money. 
but I've been faithful to you. I've been a giver. He went to his, his backyard and he got a tank full of water and poured it inside the gas tank. He said, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I command this water to become gas. And he got in his car, started up the engine, and it went all the way. The water became, and I know that sounds crazy, but guess what? We're gonna have more testimonies like this in America. Right. That's right. Yes, it will be. When, when, watch this, when the banks are acting crazy. Yeah. When, come on, when the markets are acting funny, mm -hmm. you better have some supernatural reserves that you can pull That's from. Right. Come on, somebody. That's right. When these accounts in the earth fail, yes. I have a heavenly account yes. where right. my God shall supply every oh, last one of yes. my needs. I'm Amen. telling you, this is a reality. Yes. And this is for every single believer. Yes. Would you wow. partner with us? I want to challenge you today, if, if I may do this now, I think this is the time to do it. I want to challenge you right now. I am asking you today to partner in alignment with that prophetic word, $23 a month for 12 months or for however long, $23 a month. And I want you to partner with Cornerstone, $23 a month. And you're standing on Joel chapter two, verse 23. And you're saying, you know what? The latter rain. Come on, somebody say the latter rain. The latter the latter rain. rain. I am believing God for the rain. I am believing God to bring forth the harvest, but I must make sure that I have seed in the ground. Maybe, maybe you're here and you're saying, I, 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 I feel that at $20 a month, but maybe you're here and you say, I, I want to do $230, $230. I want to sow a one-time seed, or you can do it uh, per month, but you, you want to sow a $230 seed, and you're connecting your faith with it, and you're saying, God, I am believing you that I will be a partner in the harvest that you yes. are manifesting in the earth. Amen. I don't know about you, but I have this attitude. I'm kind of nosy. I'm from the South and we use the term nosy a lot. <laughs> Cause we had nosy aunts, nosy grandma that just listen to every conversation, just nosy. So I know what I'm talking about, nosy. And, and I just, I'm kind of nosy. So I don't, wanna, I don't wanna know that God's doing something and I'm not a part of it. Mm -hmm. My thing is, Lord, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. don't do it without me. Right. If, you, if you're releasing a harvest, I want to be a part of it. Amen. If, you, if you're moving in the earth, I want to be a part of it. Amen. If you're doing something miraculous, I want to be a part of it. Amen. And I want to encourage you, you faithful viewers, those watching me right now, maybe, maybe you want to partner with Cornerstone, but in, in, in exchange for that, God is saying, I also want to partner with you. Amen. And I want to challenge you today, $23 a month as a, okay. starting, as a starting base to partner with us to see the harvest of souls, the harvest of lives transformed, and the harvest in your personal life. Maybe you're saying, Pastor, I, I, I want to do a one-time thing. You can do $230 as a one-time gift, or there's many other options. You can do $84 a month with Cornerstone. I challenge you to do one of those things, because I believe that something supernatural is about to happen in the earth and we need to plug our faith into it like never before. Mm -hmm. There's a lot coming. You know, Isaiah 60 talks about gross darkness will cover the earth. Yep. Mm -hmm. But he says, arise and shine. Yes. Arise and shine. Mm -hmm. Arise and shine. Yes, there's darkness. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's darkness. But in this year of the seed, mm -hmm. you will experience the power of the seed. And the power of the seed can break through the power of the darkness. Mm -hmm. The power of the seed yeah. will break the power of the darkness. In this year of the seed, will you partner with God? Will you become a co-laborer together with him? You know, I'm, my father grew up on a farm. And one of the things that's interesting is that when you plant a seed, a seed cannot become a tree or a plant until it breaks out of its seed coat. It has to break out of its seed coat. It has to it has to be put into the ground. And when it's put into the ground, it breaks out of the seed coat and then it germinates. That's exactly what Jesus did. God says, I want a harvest of sons, but I need a seed. So he sent his seed into the earth. And for three and a half years, well, 30 years, and then three and a half years of ministry, he ministered, he, he sowed. But guess what? One day that seed had to be broken had to break his seed coat. 
And the only way it could break his seed coat was to die on the cross. <laughs> it was sown in corruption, but it was raised incorruptible. Had to break out of the seed coat, the seed coat of this humanity, had to be buried in the earth for three days. And it was raised from the dead. But here's the beauty. Whenever a seed becomes a harvest, we said that the seed is the harvest concealed. But the harvest is the exponential manifestation of the seed sown. When you sow an apple seed, you don't get an apple. You get an apple tree. And that apple tree has apple seeds. An infinite amount That's right. of apples are in one apple seed. Watch this. Jesus died on the cross. The seed, coat, the seed was buried into the ground. He bust out of his seed coat and was raised from the dead. When he was raised from the dead, he wasn't raised by himself. The Bible says he brought many sons to glory. Amen. That's the God we serve. That is the God that we serve. He will multiply the seed so and increase the fruit of your righteousness. Would you partner with us today? Would you partner with Cornerstone? Maybe $23 a month, maybe a one-time gift of $230. Maybe you want to sow $84 a month. I believe something supernatural has happened. I'm going to pray for you quickly, and I'm going to pass this on to Tom. Father, I thank you for every person listening. I thank you that the glory goes into the airwaves now and brings change and transformation to every soul watching and listening yes. to the sound of my voice. We declare a supernatural harvest. A supernatural harvest. I want you to go to the phones right now and I want you to partner with heaven to see the latter rain in this year of the seed. God bless you. Tom, God bless you, sir. You know, I just, I think about what you said about capital. You know what they call, they call when a person invests, they call them venture capitalists. Well, that sounds like adventure to me. And That's that sounds right. like what you, we're asking you to be part of, the adventure of serving God by partnering with us, supporting the work of this ministry. You know, the work of Cornerstone Television is going all around the world. And we need people that are going to be radical. <laughs> what was it? Person of radical faith, radical obedience, and radical, radical giving. giving. We need wow. you to be a part of that right now. Maybe God's speaking to you right now. I want to encourage you to step out in faith and trust him. Look, it's time to get off the sidelines. Get in the game. You've been watching the playoffs? Get in the game. Everybody wants to be in the game, right? Don't be on the sidelines. Get out and be part of that adventure with God. God's word is very clear on this. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. Those are God's words and that's his promise to you today. So don't be on the sidelines any longer. Call us and say, yes, I want to follow the Lord's leading and become a Cornerstone Television Network partner. We've mentioned $23 a month. You can come in at whatever level you know that God is speaking to you. So don't delay any longer. Right now, go to your phone. God is speaking to you. When you feel that prompting, go to your phone right now and say, yes, I'm going to be part of that adventure with God. Be a venture capitalist in God's kingdom. Be part of that adventure. Let's go over to Pastor Gary. Oh, thanks, Tom. You know, the Bible says, the Word of God says, the Lord puts seed into the hand of sowers. I want to ask you, what's in your hand? In this year of the seed, in this year of 2023, Will you be willing to be one, a life changer that will help us proclaim the good news of the gospel around this region and around the world to the nations with a seed of $23 a month? The phone number is there on the screen, 888-665-4483. What's in your hand today. You know, God never speaks to you about a seed unless he has a harvest on his mind. I love what Dr. Keenan mentioned there. It's so powerful. Seed is all about preparation. It's an act of preparation. If you aren't preparing with a seed, 
you can't step into manifestation. The harvest is an act of manifestation. See, when you're preparing for a miracle, you've got to do something. And so God always gives you an instruction. And I believe that we are in a divine moment in 2023. God is raising up his people. He's opening up the floodgates of heaven. Your seed in the ground is preparing you for the greatest harvest of your life. All you have to do is obey the instruction and locked inside of that instruction, inside of that seed is the harvest, the manifestation. What do you need from God? We need you to partner with us and become a partner sowing that gift of $23 a month. You need to go to your phone right now, dial 888-665-4483. And as you go, you have to understand you are doing an act of preparation. Pastor Gary, when we do an act of preparation, sowing a seed, we turn from a place of preparation into a place where we'll see manifestation in our life as we sow. That is so true. And, and God honors our obedience. So as you rise up in obedience today and partner with Cornerstone Television Network, Maybe you've been a viewer. You enjoy our lineup of national programs. David Jeremiah, the 700 Club. You know, uh, Pastor Robert Jeffers, who's going to be with us this week. You know, Joyce Meyer. I know you all have your favorites. Maybe you like our lineup of the programs we produce here in-house. Maybe you've been a viewer, but now will you rise up in obedience and become a partner with us? Cornerstone Television, for 43 years, we've been proclaiming the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ to the world. We've been doing humanitarian works in nations like Cuba and Nepal and Asia, Africa, around the nation and around the world. And then, of course, we have our 24-hour prayer line. And Pastor Jay, we can't do any of that without partners who are willing to sow. That's right. And that's why we're calling on you to partner with us even right now. Now go to your phone, 888-665-4483, and let's put our, place, or put our hearts in a place of expectation, ready to sow and give God what it is that he's requiring of us. Understand this, whenever you need a miracle, you will never see a miracle in scripture where God does not give a command first. The blessing is always in your obedience to the command. And as you respond to that, God is gonna bless you in a supernatural way. And that's why we need you to partner with us so we can continue to keep this soul winning, gospel preaching network going across the airwaves, touching so many lives like Noel, who has experienced God's provision and blessing in every area of her life. Stay tuned, check out this newest, latest and greatest testimony. Cornerstone Television has really impacted my life in so many ways. I've been watching Cornerstone for many years now, and there was one particular time years ago when I was a nursing student, and it was emotionally challenging as well as financially challenging, and I had been awarded a scholarship, but for some reason, the money was kind of in like limbo and it wasn't being released in time for me to get um, the necessary tools and books and the pay tuition on time each semester. And so that was really, really challenging for me. But there was one day when I was just watching Cornerstone and I really felt impressed to start to sow a seed and to give a monthly um, seed of $17 a month. And I wasn't working at the time, but I felt like the Holy Spirit said, I want you to do this, sow a seed to meet a need that you have and to just trust him. And so there was one particular day when the financial offices were contacting me and they were saying if I didn't have the money sent in by a certain date, I was going to have to um, withdraw from school. And I really didn't want to do that. I wanted to 
finish my nursing career. And so I was watching Cornerstone and a woman named Miss Norma, who's since gone to be with the Lord, she was praying and she prayed and she said, Lord, there's a young girl out there. She's in nursing school and she's struggling and she needs finances. And Lord, you're going to send the money, release the money, send the money quickly. And I just grabbed that and I said, Lord, she's talking about me. That's for me. Well, a few short weeks after watching that, I think it was a telethon, after watching that and just like linking up my prayer with Miss Norma, the money was directly deposited into my account. And I just bless God. I thank God. And I, I thank Cornerstone. And then after that year of giving $17 a month, Cornerstone gifted me with this book. It's a daily devotional of inspirational promises. And I have it to this day and I've used it and read it many times. So I just want to say thank you so much, Cornerstone. Thank you for impacting my life. Noelle's testimony to me is so personal. She is a dear friend. Her and JR have been members of our church for several decades. And I just think that here I am standing in the very place where she sowed seed into the ground. She also heard a word from the Lord from this television network over two decades ago. She sowed a monthly seed of $17 a month. She didn't even have it to give. She was a college student in nursing school. And God met her need and gave her the harvest that she needed. Dr. Keenan Bridges has challenged us that this is the year of the seed. And according to Joel 2, 23, for your gift of $23 a month, think about that. Decades ago, Noelle was sewing $17 a month and she got a devotional, a book in her hand. Here we are again for $23 a month. We are going to sow this seed, this book into your life. Dr. Keenan Bridges, releasing miracles. I mean, maybe you're good and you don't need miracles in your life, but I know that most of us, we need the supernatural intervention of God in our life. We need a divine God moment in our life like Noel's experience watching Cornerstone Television. So we ask that you call us now at 885-4483 and sow your gift of $23 a month. Let's go to our dear friend and producer, Paul Bixler with Visions of Hope. Hi, I'm Paul Bixler. Throughout the years, many viewers and visitors sense there's something genuine about this TV ministry. We're practically family. God miraculously stretches our finances, and we have a very dedicated and talented staff. We found many interesting ways to do so much with so little. God continues to bless Cornerstone Television for several reasons. My father, Russ Bixler, set a foundation of honesty and integrity. He learned how to trust God in every situation imaginable, finding God's will and persevering against all odds to fulfill it. My mother, Norma Bixler's passion for prayer, set another pillar for this ministry. She led the charge by gathering a group of dedicated ladies who came up to the TV property to pray us on the air. Another group of ladies at Cornerstone Television have continued this prayer legacy and asking for God's guidance. Also, many people continue to intercede for us. We know that God has chosen us to do Christian television. We focus on creating TV programs with excellence and God's presence. I don't know of a TV studio producing more quality local Christian programming. Our board of directors employs integrity, honesty, and forthrightness we take seriously our commitment to tithing all our contributions and income. These are important qualities to maintain in the short run, but they are blessed by God in the long haul. Our Cornerstone Cares is linking arms and resources with ministries both locally, nationally, and across the world to tangibly express God's love. We also incorporate a trust in the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. We have a true love for the viewers who are hurting with our 24-hour-a-day prayer line. I can also say that we have a sincere appreciation for those who support Cornerstone Television financially. 
When we succeed in spreading the gospel and discipling believers, it's your success too. Your faithfulness makes all of this life-changing impact possible. Thank you for standing with us financially as we move forward together into the new year of 2023 with God's Calling. We're blessed to have you as part of our family. Well, every promise of God is going to be so in your life from all around the world. If you believe it's going to be so, stand on your feet with your hands lifted up and let me hear you scream, it is so! Come on, put your hands together. Come on, let's go to Africa. Right here. Amen, 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 amen. It is so. It is so. Every promise is of God. Amen, 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 so amen. It is so. It is so. Yeah. It is so. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. It is so. It is so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Ray Heipel, host of Origins, a television program right here on Cornerstone Television Network. You know, to me personally, Cornerstone Television is more than just a television station. It played a crucial role in my early walk as a Christian. It showed me other Christians. It showed me people who believed the Bible. It showed me faithful ministers and what preaching was supposed to be to exalt our Lord, to teach us how to live for Him. And so I want to thank you for supporting Cornerstone Television. Without your support, Origins would not be able to be on the air, and we would not be able to show people that the Bible is true, that it's the Word of God, and the proof, it's all around you. Thank you for your faithful support of Cornerstone Television. Well, Tom, people are responding. Are. We've got Tamara from Syracuse, New York, $23 a month. That's right. Thank you so much. We've got Clayton from North Braddock, $25 a month. 
Thank you so much. Pastor Gary, uh, people need to get involved and we've got some exciting news. Yes, we do. We have a number of our partners that have put together a challenge. Uh, yes, uh, a vision of hope challenge. So we're going to put up a 15 minute clock and during these next 15 minutes, every gift that you sow, it's going to cause our impact to increase, to just be blessed in a greater way. So it's a great time. Tom, I love challenges because everybody can do something during everybody a challenge. Everybody can do something. And you know what? You want to maximize the impact of what you're giving. Maximize, we've been talking about investing in the kingdom, being one of those adventure people, those venture capitalists, somebody that's going to invest in something that matters, invest in this kingdom of God. And we need you to be part of that. So we're going to have this 15 minute challenge and just believe God, Pastor Gary. Yes, come on. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for all of our viewers and partners and Cornerstone family rising up to help us, Lord, meet this challenge. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen and amen. amen. We're going to start the clock in five, four, four three. Two, one. one. Come on, folks. Go to the phone, 888-665-4483. This is a great time. If you could sow $84 a month, your impact is going to be blessed. This is a great time. If you want to do $23 a month in this year of 2023, the year of the seed, now is the time to do it. The clock is ticking. 888-665-4483, or you can go to ctvn.org. You know, it's an urgent time, Pastor yes, Gary. Yes. It's a time, listen, we've been talking about this all evening, that this is a time when the, the, the people of God need to rise up and invest in the kingdom of God. You need to be one of those people. And we're asking you to be a partner with Cornerstone Television because we believe that this ministry is called. You know what we're called for? We're called for this purpose, this purpose to see what the, the gospel of Jesus Christ goes to each person. That was Norma's desire. And we've been talking about Russ and Norma tonight. Our founder, Norma Bixer, she always used to say that everyone ought to know who Jesus is. You know what? More than 40 years later, that still is the heartbeat of everything we do. Take a look at this video of Norma sharing her heart for the people in Pittsburgh and beyond. I used to live in Pittsburgh and one day I decided I, I needed to go shopping downtown. You know, I did have a family and I was only seven minutes from the city of Pittsburgh. And so I got on the bus and I went downtown and I did some shopping and I was uh, at Gimbel's and I started towards Kaufman's on Smithfield Street. And when I was on the sidewalk, there were people around me, coming towards me, beside me, there were people waiting on the bus, all sorts of activity going on because in those days we didn't have all the malls that we have today and so everybody went downtown. They went to work, they went to shop, they went for whatever reason to eat lunch and I was looking at the people and there were all ages of people and there were short people and there were tall people and I was just looking at each one as I they came towards me and um, and the Lord uh, said you're looking at the people but look in their eyes and this is the only time this happened in my life and you know, when the Lord speaks, you do what He says. And so I looked in their eyes and I just saw sadness and trouble and blank looks and I could see they were needy people. But, but when I looked in their eyes, I could tell they did not know who Jesus Christ is. But I did, but they didn't. And that's the reason I believe that God raised people up to put us here for you who are watching today. We needed a television station to tell about Jesus and all he can do for each one of us. 
And so that's why Cornerstone Television is here. It's for you because everybody ought to know who Jesus is. And we just trust that you're going to understand that you're going to know who Jesus is. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. When I hear those words, I'm so thankful to this day that we have that recorded and we can hear it and go back and play it for you, our, our viewers. This is why, this is the why that you ought to support Cornerstone Television. It's simply because everybody ought to know who Jesus is. And I love what Miss Norma said. She said, when the Lord speaks, you do what he says. And I believe that all evening the Lord has been speaking to you. And I believe that this scripture from Deuteronomy 16, I'd love to read it to you. It says, love the Lord your God, walk in his ways and keep his commands. Then you will live and increase and the Lord your God will bless you. There's something about the word that Kenan shared that just keeps resonating to my spirit. And all I can see is the harvest, but it, it's our lives, our life. Your life is this seed. It's the mm -hmm. sacrifice that God's asking us to beseech ourselves and be his and be moved by his spirit. Obey him. That means you are putting aside all fear that your flesh may throw in your face. Well, you don't have enough to do that. No, the spirit of God gives us liberty and freedom and he knows God knows the moment that you obey and you give he is going to move because it's just the kind of God that he is but there are people that are attached to your obedience can you imagine that that you know Amy there's people in our lives mm -hmm. that if we do not obey right. the voice of God mm -hmm. they're affected right now, and like she said, everybody ought to know who Jesus is. And when's the last time you, like Norma, just stopped and looked into people's eyes? You know, we're so busy and honestly, we're all down like this. If, if you go to any restaurant or any mall or any store or even driving in cars, I mean, everybody's just looking down. But I wonder if we look up and we look into people's eyes, if we see just for a moment the harvest the harvest field yes. and that we know and we're good and we're going to heaven, but there's a lot of people that don't know Jesus. There's a lot of people that need his touch. There's a lot of people that need the truth in their life. And that's exactly what Cornerstone Television does. We throw a wide net for the harvest. We throw a wide net of hope for people and you, your partnership with us. You're like the engine that keeps things running in the harvest field. And it is time. That's right. To reap a great Amen. harvest of souls. Yes, and we're excited because we do have people calling. I just want to give a shout out to Nancy from New Hartford, New York, for calling in your donation to Cornerstone Television. You know, apart from our donors, we can do nothing. We're, you kind of act as like the spirit of God in the sense that, you know, apart from God, we can't do nothing. Right. But with God, we can do anything. With partners partnering with us, yes. there is nothing that God can't do. Mm -hmm. He can move mountains through the airwaves. <laughs> there is no distance in prayer. When you right. call the prayer line, it doesn't matter where in the world you are. The same God is hearing and he is moving because we're believing in him. Be a part of something that is so much bigger than yourself. Mm -hmm. This here at 
Cornerstone Television, you know, as we talked about YouTube, it's all, all over, over the world. Yes. It's amazing to me. Millions of people can watch and hear the gospel because of your partnership with us, just like Cynthia called in with her gift of $23 a month for 12 months. According to Joel 2, 23, we are believing that, man, you're this is the year of the seed. It is time to plant a seed, not into just something random, but something very intentional, the kingdom of God. You're going to reap a kingdom harvest and you are part of a kingdom promise. We're just not making up pie in the sky stuff. This is actual living, breathing word of God truths that when you obey and your active obedience, man, you're going to reap a great harvest in your life. Let's go hear more about the year of the seed from Pastor Jay and Dr. Keenan Bridges. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just under six minutes of this double impact challenge. The year of the seed. This is an opportunity for you to partner with the miracle working power of God. Dr. Keenan Bridges has just released a powerful word, the year of the seed. Such a powerful word. I told everybody yeah. that this is like a ribeye steak. We took one bite and put it back. There's a whole lot more meat on that bone. Yeah. You know, I believe in this year of the seed. As I said, this will belong to spiritual people. And one of the most spiritual things you can do is be a seed sower. Mm. I'm reminded of Isaiah 55 verse 9. It says, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And we've quoted that scripture many times. People have preached on that. But you got to keep on reading. What are his ways that are higher? Mm. He says, my ways, as the heavens are higher, so are my ways higher than your ways. Well, he explains what his higher ways are. He says, as the rain falls from heaven and waters the earth so that it buds and brings forth fruit, so shall my word be yeah. that goes out of my mouth, Isaiah 55, 11, it will not return void, but it will accomplish what it was Amen. sent to do and prosper in the purpose where it was sent. What is God saying? That rain that hits the earth, those are his ways. His ways are seed time and harvest. And when God says there's, there's a seed in the earth, when the rain hits the earth, the seeds in the earth begin to bud and bring forth fruit. The question again is do you have seed in the ground? Come on, come on. It's not whether or not God's going to send the rain. That's an irrevocable promise from the word of God. It's not about if God's going to send the rain. It's mm. about when and it's about if there's seed in the ground. When God send the rain, sends the rain and there's seed in the ground, you have a harvest with your name on it. And I really want to encourage you, get into this system of God. It affects every area of our life. It affects every relationship. There is no woman that wants to have a baby without a seed. Right. There is no person that wants to get an apple tree without an apple seed. My friends, God is calling us right now. Mm, if on. you want to protect yourself against the storms yeah. that are coming upon the earth, I encourage you, the greatest protection is the principles of God's word as a shield against what the enemy is going to try to do to devour. But I believe we're, we're gonna be wow. in that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a prophetic moment. There's yes. just a little over three minutes yes. left of this double impact challenge. Listen to this word. Yeah. I believe, just with you, Dr. Keenan, yeah. that God is raising up yes. a people and he's saying, get prepared for yes. the darkness that is coming. That's right. But God's saying, if you have a seed in the ground, That's right. a harvest is going to come up. That's and right. when the rain comes, That's right. when the rain comes, if you've got seed into the ground, That's right. it's going to bring forth from the earth, yes. it's going to bud, it's yeah. going to begin to produce. Yeah. God is telling his people, just like he told yeah. Joseph That's right. in the middle, he said, listen, seven years of preparation, for the seven years that are coming. God spoke to me and said, this is the beginning of yeah. 23, is the beginning of seven years right. of getting people prepared for what is coming. That's right. And you said something very powerful during the broadcast. You said a lot of people want manifestation, but they don't have preparation. Come on. Preparation comes before manifestation. That's right. You cannot receive a manifestation unless we are prepared by following God's instructions. Go to the phones mm. right now. And let's see God move in your life. 888-665-4483. Get in on this double impact challenge while we go back over to Pastor Gary. You know, you can never have a harvest unless you first plant that seed. And so every time you sow a seed, it guarantees you a harvest. 
But you know what else really matters? The kind of soil you put that seed into. And Tom, Cornerstone Television is good ground, fertile soil. For 43 years, we have not strayed That's from right. the purpose and vision that God gave to our founders. That's right. You know, I've been here for 25 of those 43 years, and I've seen the same thing all the way through. The desire to touch lives, the desire to reach people, the desire to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth and to, to uh, just, Pastor Gary, to alleviate the, 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 the people that, I've seen people fed because of this ministry. I've seen people housed because of this ministry. I've seen, uh, uh, you know, the blind, uh, you know, just ministered to because of this ministry. And I'm asking you, don't sit on the sidelines any longer, but get involved. We have just a little bit more time in this challenge. So you need to go to the phone right now and be part of what God is doing. If you've been a partner with us in years past, would you pray about recommitting in this year of 2023? If you have been a viewer and you've enjoyed our program, you've called the prayer line, but you've never become a partner, would you call 888-665-4483? During this challenge, if you're on the phone, we're going to count you in this challenge for that impact. Absolutely. So go to the phones right now. Partner with God. Partner with what God is doing. Right now, let's go to music. Well, let's begin to lift our hands up to us and give the praise and worship to the God who gives the seeds to the soul. We love you, Lord. Yeah. 
sing the good of the goodness of the Lord with our hands lifted up. With every voice we worship you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I was with a, a young musical group. Um, we were, we were unla unpacking the equipment to set it up for the getting together program back in those days as the musical interlude. And as we were unpacking, all of a sudden, in about a minute, I felt really, really, really sick. And my friend said, John, are you all right? And I said, no, something's really, really wrong. And Russ Bixler, walked, he heard that and he walked over and he put his hand really quietly and gently on me and he said, Satan, take your hand off this young man in Jesus' name, right now. And he turned and waddled away. And all of a sudden, Sydney, whoosh, this, this sickness, this terrible sickness lifted off me in an instant. I thought, what was that? I said, okay, Lord, you are powerful. Even with Russ as quiet as he is, it doesn't matter you know, the, uh, who the, the agent is, it's, it's the Spirit of the Lord working through people. And that's exactly uh, the, what I appreciate about CTV over these many, many years. They've had a lot of um, people come in and offer wholesome, real, meaty, gritty ministry to the people in the audience. And I, I'm happy to support that. We, in fact, we have Monroeville Assembly of God Church, we have some men that get together and pray every week, every Saturday morning from like 8.30 to 9.30. And many times as we're praying for many of the things around the nation, our attention turns to CTV here because the Lord wants to bless the nation and he sets up institutions like Cornerstone Television and he wants to pour out his blessing on them, right? So he, he needs people to step forward and say, we're here, we want to minister, we want to be blessed and we need some things. So this prayer team, this small group of guys we get together and we say Lord if they need money get them money if they need protection give them protection whatever it is if they need someone that understands the, uh, the, the electrical equipment whatever it is Cornerstone needs Lord put your hand on them protect them and help them out I, I am happy to support Cornerstone in every way and I encourage anybody out there that wants to pray for something ask the Lord the question who, who is Cornerstone what do you want to do? What part can I play? Whether it's you know, giving money or praying or just lifting them up or, or whatever. There's something that the Lord can have us all do, like this group of ragtag men, to get together to pray. Find something to do to support Cornerstone Television. These are just people like everybody else. They, they have flat tires and their washing machine breaks down and everything else. And so they need our help and love and protection. This is one easy and good and rich way that you can uh, work together with the Holy Spirit to have Satan take his hands off this young nation so that the Lord can bless and use us. You know, I love the stories of God's faithfulness, faithfulness to this ministry, faithfulness to you. God is faithful and you just need to trust him in all this. We're asking you to be part of what this ministry is doing and invest in this kingdom. You know, I, I love what we were sharing earlier that, you know, people who are capitalists, they're looking for a solid place to invest, right. a good Absolutely. place. They don't, they don't invest if it's not a good place. That's right. This is a place to invest. That's right. Cornerstone is good ground. Over 40 years of faithful, integrity, gospel preaching, and, and ministry that has helped so many people, countless lives have been transformed. What better place to sow your seed? You know, I'm excited. We even have uh, Gladys from Syracuse, New York, just gave a one-time time gift of $230. And we speak a blessing over you. And many of you there, the Lord is really calling you. He's really speaking to you. He's pulling on the strings of your heart. I will assure you today, that anytime God gives you a divine instruction, there is a blessing attached to the instruction. <clears throat> Obey the instruction, friends, and do it quickly. That's right. And we have uh, <clears throat> another partner, Karen from Pittsburgh, right here in Pittsburgh, $23 a month. Thank wow. you so much, Hallelujah. Karen. Thank you for taking that step of faith. Thank you for being part of that adventure. Now, I want to give you a report. Uh, the report so far is we've taken in $2,654 during that challenge. So praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. God is good. Yes, Hallelujah. and we're still getting a total uh, added to that. So uh, just, just continue to call. Continue to believe that what God is doing in this ministry is something you want to be involved with, investing in the kingdom of God, believing, you know what, when you do, 
when you do, God gets involved in, in your stuff. He gets yeah. involved in your, he's like, hey, there's someone who's obedient to me. I love what yeah. you shared about obedience, uh, radically faithful, yeah. radical obedience, radical, and radical giving. giving. Yeah. All those things are necessary. Absolutely. If you will be a person of radical faith, radical obedience, and radical giving, you will experience radical favor. And I want to be a person in this season of radical favor. This year will belong to seed sowers, spiritual men and women that understand God's spiritual law found in Genesis 8:22. As long as the earth remains, there will be seed time and harvest. Sow your seed today. Absolutely. We've got our prayer partners standing by. They're ready to pray with you. They're ready to take your pledge. So why don't you call now while we go back over to Pastor Gary. Well, Janice called from Belfont with a one-time gift of $230. She called during the challenge. And you know, Janice, one of my favorite scriptures is Luke 6, 38. When you give, it shall then be given back to you. Good measure, you press it down, shake it together, and running over, God will cause men and women to give unto your bosom. Pastor Jay, I love that. When, when we sow, God will, God will use unexpected yeah. sources. Your paycheck isn't your source. Right. The government isn't your source. Social security isn't your source. God is your source. That's right. And people like David have been calling in, sowing a gift from Greensburg, $50 a month for the next 12 months for a total of $600. And, and like you said, Pastor Gary, you have to realize that what you have is not all you have. And when you start with a seed, it changes your scenery. There's two things that happen. Whenever you start sowing seeds, your scenery changes and your seasons change. And right now, you need to understand, the reason why this is the year of the seed is because God is ready to change your scenery and he's ready to change your season. And I want to encourage some people right now, if you're in this place and you're saying, I need God to change my scenery and my season, I want you to go to the phone and dial 888-665-4483 and sow that gift of 84 dollars a month. You know, Pastor Gary, something always happens at that thousand dollar level. I believe every believer at one point or another should get to a point where they can sow that gift of $84 a month or tap into that thousand dollar seat. That's right. You and I have personal testimony. We've seen the Lord firsthand honor that thousand dollar seed. Hey, some of you could sow a two thousand dollar seat, a five thousand dollar seat. Our goal during this visions of hope is two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So we're going to need those larger gifts, those Norma called them the sizable gifts, <laughs> if we're going to see that goal met. Some of you have a business that you've committed not only your personal life, but your business to the Lord. Some of you, maybe you just have been blessed by the Lord and you are able to sow at that $1,000 level, $84 a month. Go to the phone right now, 888-665-4483. If you've been a partner in, a pa in the past, why don't you recommit in this new year and let us know you're on board with us if you've been a viewer, a watcher, a caller, but never a partner, now is the time to join. You know, as Dr. Keeney was preaching, he's talking about the year of the seed. And I said, God, I'm asking myself why he's talking. Why the year of the seed? Whenever God starts speaking to you about a seed, he's talking to you about something new. Every, something brand new is coming. And I believe when you sow a gift of $1,000, God will release new wisdom, new direction, new understanding. And even as Dr. Keenan was talking, he said, when you start sowing a radical seed, you will get radical favor. And Come some on. of you need radical favor in your life. You know that there's more. I believe there's somebody watching right now that you're saying, God, I know there's more for my life. You believe that there's a new season. You're tired of where you are. You're weary with where you are, but you don't know the next steps. You need a door to open. You need a portal to open for you. I believe I'm talking to somebody right now. And God's saying, when you sow this $1,000 seed, I am going to release my wisdom 
into your life and change your scenery and your season. There's going to be dreams that are going to come to you in the middle of the night. There's going to be wisdom that's going to come to you supernaturally. There's going to be divine favor. The unexpected phone calls are going to come your way. People that you impacted in your past. I'm going to say that again. People that you impacted in your past. Seeds that you sowed in your past. God is saying, I am going to now bring the rain and cause the harvest to begin to come up. And the things that you have forgotten about, God says, I am going to begin to release those into your life. You need to go. I know I'm talking to somebody right now to sow that gift of $1,000. And what is hidden, I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, what has been hidden, God said, I will bring to the light. What has been shut down, God said, I will break through. What the devil has withheld, God said, I will release if you will go and sow that seed right now in this moment. This is the year of the seed. Go right now, 888-665-4483 and And so that gift, I'm telling you, something is being released into your life. And to help you with that, we've got a video on how you can so easily with Cornerstone. Check this out while you run to your phones. Did you know people across the United States watch Cornerstone Television Network? I'm Crystal Tillman, Director of Marketing and Development. A viewer from Arkansas partnered with us and shared. You all have truly blessed me and the body of Christ with communion, hope, and knowledge of God. I watch CTVN faithfully on YouTube. God bless you. We're thankful God has expanded CTVN's influence to reach around the world. Thank you for giving. Hope happens here. I have a question for you. Are you ready for your life to change? Are you ready for your life to be transformed? You know, there's something about the Word of God that has the power to change your life. The Word changes your world. And I want to encourage you with this. Your seed has a voice. Mm. Is there something you've been trying to say that you've not been able to communicate? When you, when you sow a seed, you are communicating to the soil that it's time for a harvest to come. The seed is the voice to the earth mm. that says harvest time is here. I love what, what Pastor Jay said that the word or your seed changes seasons. Your seed changes seasons. And that's why whenever you are trying to accomplish something, you need to identify the seed first. A farmer must first understand what he or she is trying to grow before they can accurately identify the seed. If I'm trying to grow oranges, I don't look for apple seeds. If I'm trying to grow mangoes, I don't look for you know, pineapple seeds. I look for the right seed in order to provoke the right harvest. Your seed has a voice, but I also said that your seed is the impetus for your harvest. There are some things in your life that will never change without a seed. I don't care how much you pray. You can love the Lord, but there's certain things that will never happen for you until a seed is sown. We said earlier that even God, even God subscribes to the law of seed time and harvest. So if it's good enough for God, it should be good enough for you. I want to challenge you today. In fact, uh, I, I just felt this in my spirit. Many of you, you definitely responded and you are responding to that $23 a month. I encourage you to do that. But then there may be others, they were talking about sowing a $1,000 seed, sowing those sizable gifts. I believe there's at least 10 people, this is off script, but I believe there's 10 people and you're saying, I need something to break in my life, in my business, in my family. There are at least three pastors watching right now. Your church has been stagnant, it hasn't moved. You use all the marketing campaigns, all the Google ads you can, and actually people are leaving your church, they're not even coming. Because there's something spiritual that you need to understand. There's something about the seed. Your seed is a signal. Somebody write that down. Your seed is a signal. Anytime something is about to change, there's a signal. There's a signal. When you're changing lanes, there's a signal. When there's something happening in the airport, there's a signal. Your seed is the signal that signals to heaven that you're ready for your harvest. What signal are you communicating to heaven? What signal are you communicating to heaven? I believe there are 10 people right now 
and the Lord has been dealing with you. This is not for everybody, but the Lord has been dealing with you. He's been speaking to you very specifically, and you need a major breakthrough in your ministry. Mm -hmm. I've said this before. I know I sound like a broken record. When we couldn't break through and there was a lot going on, I had prayed, I fasted, did all that. I was in England preaching, and the Lord said, I want you to sow a sacrificial seed. And this is what I said to the Lord. I said, Lord, I'm going to do what you say do. But can I add this little addendum to it? I said, Lord, let this seed speak for me. Let it speak for me. Let it say what I don't have the language to say. Mm. Oh, my God. The har Listen, the harvest speaks the language of the seed. And the only way to communicate to your harvest is with the seed. There's no other way. So I want to challenge you today, if you are in that tent and you're saying, Pastor, that's me, I need a major breakthrough, this is totally off script, those 10 people go to the phone as the Lord prompts you, and I want you to sow $2,300. I want you to step out there in faith and say, God, I'm going to do this right now. If yeah. that's not you, that's not you. But if it's you and the Lord is speaking to you, right. I challenge you to respond. Yeah. Maybe you're not in that group, but you say, you know what? I can sow $230 and I'm going to do this. Now, I want, you to, I want you to hear this before we move on. It's not so much about the technicalities of it all. It's about the size of your obedience. Mm -hmm. What is the Lord telling you to do? The widow gave one might and gave more than everybody else. God never asks of you more than what you are capable of doing, mm -hmm. which means, listen to this, if God tells you to do something and it doesn't seem like you have the means to do it, he's actually telling you he's increasing your capacity. Wow. Anytime God tells you to do something, you say, I, don't, I can't do that, like the woman with the vial of oil. She yeah. said, this is all I have. I'm going to sell. We're gonna, I got, my son's about to go into slavery. Uh -huh. They're about to be indentured servants. And this is what the prophet said, what's in your house? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's in your house? He wasn't saying that because he was trying to do inventory. He already knew what was in her house. Mm -hmm. God doesn't need to get information from you. He already knows it. Which means if he asks you something, it's because he's trying to get something to you. Right. What's in your house? Meaning, I'm about to increase your capacity. Right. I'm about to do something that you don't have the ability to do on your own. And that's what the seed will do. It will speak to you in places where you have no voice. And I believe that God is speaking to seed sowers and he's telling you that your seed has a voice yes. and your seed is the signal for your next harvest. Mm -hmm. And something is about, I, I feel this so strong. Something is about to break over somebody. Uh -huh. You've been in a season of stagnation. You've been in a season yes. of lack. You've been yes. in a season of drought. You've been in a season of persecution. Yes. You've been in a season of false accusation. Right. And you're saying, God, I don't know what's going on. God says, if you will step into this principle, if you will step into this prophetic principle, your life will be thrust into new dimensions. Mm. I believe this is going to be a season where you're going to be accelerated. What Amos 9.13 says is going to be your portion. It's going to happen so fast your head's going to swim. I mean, all you're going to hear is approved, keys, come yeah. on somebody, right. land, land, all kind of stuff oh, is going to just yes. be thrown in your lap right. if you will come into Amen. agreement with God. Get off the fence and get into obedience and your life will never be the same. Go to the phones right now. Let the Lord speak to you. Maybe it's $23 a month. Maybe it's that one time gift of $230. Or maybe you're one of those remnant and God is saying, I need you to do something sacrificial, $2,300. Whatever it is, do it now. Whatever he says, do it. God bless you. Amen. It's such yeah. a powerful word, Keenan. I just keep thinking about our heart and how God looks at our heart. You know, to show yourself to the Lord that you're a, that broken seed, he looks at how we spend our money. I mean, and sometimes that, that's daunting. Pull your checkbook out, mm. or what do people use? Your iPad, <laughs> you know, whatever you look your at phone. to look, yes, <laughs> your uh, finances, and see where is your money going? Because it's, it's, it's speaking something. What are the things that you are behind? 
And, you know, when I think of $23 a month, I, I'm thinking Starbucks coffee, not even daily can you afford to get that for $23 a month. There is something that you can do. But our Cornerstone Cares, you know, hope happens here is our message and it's the truth. We have reason for you to join us. We have humanitarian aid where we're getting out there and making a difference around the world, locally and abroad, feeding people, feeding souls. I get to see that because my husband and I are part of the receiving of those contributions. And then we get to see the people that you all are helping us to feed. Sure. We have orphan ministries. Oh my goodness, guys, we are helping orphans. This is part of James 127, true religion. We're just not teaching or talking about joining something that we're not participating in. We are living it. We're doing it. The P is for prayer. We've got a prayer line that is 24-7. We are here for you. And Amy, you're going to talk about that letter E. Oh, we're here to evangelize. That's right. I mean, we're... We're not here for us. We're not here playing games. We're not here messing around. We are very intentional at what we're doing here. And that is to get the message of the gospel that Jesus saves, Jesus loves, Jesus redeems, Jesus restores, Jesus rescues to all the world as fast as we can. Like Dr. Keaton said, these are not your normal average times. These are very serious times, they're intense times, but they're also the greatest times for the church to be alive. This is our greatest hour. So when we give, when you partner with us, we are committed 24 seven to get the good news out. We're not here to be famous. We're not here to be seen. We're here to lift him up and he will draw all men unto him. Listen, if you're a first time giver, we also have, we have gifts for you. We're gonna send you gifts. We're gonna send you um, Dashing Dish recipe book. We're sending you um, a Visions of Hope calendar. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're sending you our newsletter. And for all of our gifts today, we are giving you Dr. Keenan's book releasing miracles man do we ever need tom the supernatural power of god in yeah, our life we absolutely need that supernatural power and you know what i've got one more word you know we've, we've put a lot of different levels out to you today and i think you need to respond to one of them but i want to give you a report that five thousand dollar challenge we had the final total on what came in it was good it was three thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars yeah, and we praise the lord good. for that we yes. do praise god so but you know what i felt god say you know, challenge somebody to be the 1020. You know, there's $1,020 left to, to uh, bring that up to $5,000. So is God speaking to you? Are you the 1020? I want you to call right now and you, you say, I'm the 1020. I'm the one who's going to bring that challenge up to the full level. Be that. And, you know, we've got so many people calling in, we can't even get to all their names, but we want you to be one of those that are calling in and believing God, investing in the, in the kingdom, seeing all these great things happen. So do that. Right now, we're going to go over to Pastor Gary. Thanks, Tom. Well, Karen called. Karen, that's a great name. That's my wife's name. You know, it means <laughs> purity. And she's sewing $23 a month. God bless you. And here is Mary Ann sewing a one-time seed of $1,000. Something happens at that $1,000 level. Amen. And here is Linda from State Park, Pennsylvania, sewing $94 a month for a total of $1,128. Listen, we've got a little bit of time left in our time with Dr. Keenan Bridges, and he's challenged 10 those of you, everybody can do this, but 10 people to sow $2,300. Pastor Jay, I felt in my spirit when we were talking earlier that there's somebody out there. Everybody can do this. There's somebody out there that could sow a $5,000 seed. And then when Pat, Dr. Keenan was talking about how he, his church sowed $20,000 and the Lord blessed them with a million dollar gift. Wow. Maybe somebody could sow a $20,000 gift into Cornerstone Television. You know, Pastor Gary, a lot of people don't know this, but when a seed meets the egg of a woman, it was documented in 2016, it's called a zinc spark. 
If you've never researched it, check it's the most amazing thing. The moment that the seed meets the egg, it immediately says there's all this lightning flash. They call it a <laughs> phenomenon that happens. All this light because the process has begun. And they have said, scientifically documented it, that the moment that that seed meets with the soil, meets with the egg, that something supernatural happens. And the, the degree of light determines how well that seed will produce and turn into a harvest. I believe that as you sow that gift of $20,000, you sow that gift of $5,000, God is going to release a divine spark Come on. that's going to say the process has begun. Yes. Go to your phone right now, 888-665-4483. And I want you to take a look at this heartfelt message from Dale, a dear, dear member of our team here who works in master control. Hello family, my name's Dale. I'm in master control here. As you can see by all the equipment that's here, there's a lot goes on here during the day. We've been here for 43 years doing this and I've been here for 38 years. 38 years of working in the studio. I started in the studio running camera, floor directing, uh, production supervisor, production scheduler. And then 17 years ago, I came into master control and I've been doing this ever since and I hope to do it for a lot longer. Thanks for your support. Thanks for always being there for us. Thanks for always helping us. It's, we need to get God's word out. We need to tell people about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And we just thank you for your support. Keep calling, keep being there for us. We'll be there for you. Thank you very much. Well, we've all gathered here at the wall and we just want to thank all of you, our partners, for just, just joining your faith with us in this year of the seed, the year of 2023. We've had some more folks calling, Tom. We have uh, Dennis from Fleming, $230. Dana from Washington, PA, $230. Roy from Mount Clare, West Virginia, $230. Right. Thank you so much. And I have Tamara from Syracuse, New York. <laughs> New York is showing up tonight. We have Pittsburgh, PA. Elizabeth, thank you so much. I've got White Oak, Cynthia, thank you for your gift of 23 a month. And Ebony from Penn Hills, woohoo! Yeah, let's go Penn Hills. And also from Pittsburgh, Diane is giving $30 a month for 12 months. Thank you so much for that gift. And an anonymous for $23 a month. Thank you for your generous support and your giving. Amen. Dr. Keenan, would you just pray for all of our yes. Cornerstone family and all those that, that just sowed that, that, seed, that year of the seed that the, the, the power of the seed, would you just bless our partners and our viewers? So Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit that destroys the yoke. I love what it says in the original language. It says the yoke is destroyed because their necks are too fat. Yeah. I thank you, Lord God, that our necks are fat in the spirit yeah. yes. and no yoke of poverty will ever be able to be placed on us again. Amen. I thank you for it, Lord. And I bless you for these givers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. And amen. amen. <laughs> well, I'm so excited because I believe that there are many people that God is getting ready to release into a supernatural harvest. Listen, if you haven't sowed yet, you can still get in on this. And I believe this is the year of the seed. This is the year that God is starting something brand new in your life. Dr. Keenan did such a great job, Pastor Gary, sharing this word. Thank you so much yeah. for just that great word that you yes, shared. Sir. I know lives are going to be forever changed. Yeah. Yes, sir. Any final thoughts? I want to encourage you. One of the things that you need to understand, the sooner you get a seed in the ground, the sooner the process of the harvest yes. will begin. Delayed obedience is a delayed harvest. I challenge you tonight, and whenever you're watching this, God is a God of faithfulness. One of my favorite scriptures is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 11. And it says, and it says, it says that he that sows sparingly shall reap sparingly. He that sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Here's what it says in the eighth verse. And God is able, able. to make all, all grace, grace abound toward you, that you always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he has dispersed abroad, he has given to the poor. His righteousness remaineth forever. Here it is. Now he that ministers seed to the sower, mm -hmm. both minister bread for your food and multiply 
your yeah. seed sown mm -hmm. and increase the fruit of your righteousness. That is your portion, friends. That is what God has for you, your household, your business, your church, your ministry. You will live in plenty this year. You won't live in lack. Yeah. You won't live in the land of lack. You will live in the land of plenty. You will live in the harvest and you will walk in the supernatural power of God. And Amen. we're blessing people for your gift of any amount. We're sending the book, Releasing Miracles, How to Walk in the Supernatural Power of God. Amen. I'm going to go God buy a, a box of good and plenty, brother. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's lots more vision of hope. Text, call a friend, a relative, a neighbor. Tell them to tune in to Cornerstone Television Network all this week while we go out with some anointed music. Well, let's praise the Lord together. What a wonderful night this has been. Join us wherever you are tonight. Let's celebrate the goodness of our God. Touch your neighbor, say, we serve a good God. Touch your neighbor, say, we serve a good God. Now, if you're ready, let me hear you with your hands. Lift it up, shout. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, Come on. My God is good. Sing. Oh. Hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, Let's go. Everybody put your hands. My God is good. Oh. Let's go. Come on from Pittsburgh to San Antonio. In the morning when I wake up and I will sing my praise to you, my Lord. And I will shout and dance to you. But you have been my help from night to level. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. my God is good, oh. Yeah.